We know that diet and exercise is important, but our all around health is about so much more. Research increasingly shows that a healthy gut microbiome is crucial to a healthy life. Pendulum Therapeutics is the first and only biotech company to one, isolate an important beneficial bacterial strain, and two, put that strain into a convenient new probiotic rich capsule that is formulated to help manage type 2 diabetes and nurture your body's microbiome. Pendulum Glucose Control is the first and only medical probiotic clinically shown to help manage type 2 diabetes when taken with medication. We at Between the Reps encourage our listeners to learn how pendulum glucose control can help them manage their diabetes naturally. Over time, people with type 2 diabetes lose the gut bacteria that helps them digest fiber and manage blood glucose levels. Pendulum is the only place to purchase a newly isolated, highly sought after strain called Ackermansia, formulated and bottled in the U.S. with the highest safety and quality standards, and it's non-GMO project verified. If you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, take control of glucose levels with pendulum glucose control use code reps at pendulumlife.com to get 20 percent off all products that's p-e-n-d-u-l-u-m-l-i-f-e.com promo code reps for 20 percent off well they say new year new me and I, believe me i'm trying to make it a new me and i just do not have the time to go grocery shopping to figure out what i want to cook making a big old mess just no time for that. So I use Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24 seven with fresh, never frozen prepared meals that are so delicious, you wouldn't believe they're actually good for you. Each Factor meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's even faster than ordering in. And with more than 27 meal options each week, I'm never bored. Factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan, veggie meals, cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep me fueled and focused all day long. Head to go.factor75.com slash reps120 and use code reps120 to get $120 off. That's code reps120 at go.factor75.com slash reps120 for $125 off. For the longest time, I really tried to focus when it came to oral care, to dental care, regular teeth cleanings, flossing has been a huge thing. I've been trying to make sure I do every single day, brush my teeth, keep my mouth clean, keep my teeth clean. But something I haven't really thought about until, you know, the last couple years or so is really the ingredients in all of my dental care products and how toxic a lot of them are. They're not good for my health or for my teeth. And I really do want the best for my oral health. Products made with natural ingredients. And that's why I'm giving Lumino a try. And so far, I am absolutely loving it. Lumino makes toothpaste, mouthwash, and white products that actually help your oral health instead of hurting it. You won't find harsh bleaches, artificial dyes, or alcohol in any of the Lumino products. My favorite Lumino product are their whitening strips. They're super effective and perfect for sensitive teeth, and I have really sensitive teeth. And they only take 30 minutes to apply, and you'll see results in seven days. I love how my smile feels and looks, and I know you'll love Lumino as much as we do. Get 15% off your order today by going to lumino.com slash reps and use the code reps. That's G-E-T-L-U-M-I-N-E. E-U-X dot com slash reps and use the code reps to save 15%. Get Lumino dot com slash reps. Hey guys, All welcome right. back to another episode of Between the Reps with Brooke and Gina. And we have, as promised, a guest on this podcast and it's with Andrew Wax, who I've been, start, I've started working with through Live Health to figure out all my issues, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Not so, mental. You know, maybe, mental, maybe, maybe, maybe there'll be like a yeah. side effect. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually interesting because there's two live health. So there's one that's uh, livehealth.org. That's not us. That's uh, telemedicine psychiatric services oh. and livehealth.com. So occasionally we do get the people that are calling in and they're like, hey, I'm hearing voices. And we're like, well, let's oh. look at your micronutrients. And they're like, no, I don't think that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, uh, there are, there are two of them. So maybe for the mental stuff, you could reach out to livehealth.org. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you have it. You guys. <laughs> live health live health encompassing L I V live health.com. Unless you're hearing voices, then live health.org. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Livehealth.org. laughs> 
All right. I am going to give the not, I don't actually have a microphone, but Andrew does have a microphone. So he is going to take it and give us a little background on him. Um, what he has, where he kind of started, how he got into working with like in longevity health. That's what you call it. Correct. Andrew. I call it a lot of things, but yeah, that's good. Longevity <laughs> health. Um, yeah. And then we're actually going to talk a little bit about stuff that we've, you know, he's seen through some of my labs and what we're, you know, you know, we'll give you a little bit of my personal life, my, my personal health information. Yeah, get down to the nitty gritty. A, we'll give you just a little bit of my personal health because you know, that stuff, that shit is private, right? <laughs> Only if you want to disclose it. Yeah. Uh, again, Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Wax. I'm the director of clinical care for Live Health. And we are a human optimization telemedicine concierge clinic. So human optimization and longevity is, hey, let's, let's do more than your primary care does, right? Let's take a healthy person, generally healthy, and make them healthier. Or let's dig deeper for the person that says, hey, I, you know, I just don't feel right. I feel fatigued. Or um, I want to sleep like, a, like an athlete or, you know, wh whatever it could be. And we take that goal and we do something with it. And we do comprehensive labs and pair you with one of our doctors to go through all of that. And we offer it all in a very um, tech-heavy telemedicine platform. So we pair you with a health concierge, someone like myself, and then ultimately pair you with the doctor as well. And you get an appointment whenever you need it and you get access to the prescriptions and supplements and whatever you might need in a very convenient model. A um, little bit on myself. I have degrees in biochemistry, human physiology, psychology, and neuroscience. I'm certified in peptide therapies through the International Peptide Society, and I've completed advanced fellowship training in uh, bioidentical hormone replacement and functional medicine. All that said, I'm not a formal medical practitioner. I'm more of just like a nerd. So <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I can't necessarily give medical advice, but I can distribute tons of medical information. And that's exactly what we do at Live and on, on the level of care that I offer and the people that uh, I, I, I employ and train offer. So it's... Um, Kind of like a health coach on steroids, if you will, um, where a health coach meets encyclopedia, meets tutor, meets nerd, meets uh, whatever you will. But yeah, that's that's a little bit about me. And how many how many doctors? So, for instance, like I got paired with this with a doctor after we kind of set up our we did our interview, where you guys I had my first call with Andrew. We kind of went through the laundry list of things that I'm feeling, like all the things that feel off to me in my body and has felt really bad for a long time. And then we kind of created a lab, like the perfect blood work panel we were going to do. And it is insane. The amount of tests you guys offer. And like, you warned me about, you warned yeah. me about it before we got into it. It's like a full-time job. Once you signed up, you can like really, I mean, they can, they, how many tests would you say roughly? Um, can you guys do tests for? I mean, for you, I think we ran about 90 metrics. Um, Dude, there's so much wrong with you. <laughs> well, it's, it's not so much that it's there's so I'm much wrong kidding. with you. Well, yeah, I mean, there's, that's, could be, that's there's so many things. I mean, can you imagine like, if it was you, do you know, was me, oh my God, it'd be like a thousand. There's so many things there's, wrong. I'm, I'm a data guy, right? Like, I, I, I love data. And I say that to patients all the time. But when we're designing these panels, it's important to be more comprehensive and not necessarily exhaustive. So there are places where you can go and they will blow us away in terms of the metrics that they run. But it's almost like, okay, you're just kind of running metrics for the sake of running metrics. It's like you're like, showing oh, off. Right, exactly. It's like, let's just run everything on you. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. You know, what we do that's very different is, hey, let's, let's actually chat and see what's indicated. And then I'll go through and tell you all about what lab is what. And then we'll design that lab together. Like, you know, I, I, I'll mention, hey, let's run a homocysteine, right? Nobody knows what a homocysteine is, but it's a, uh, an amino acid that's uh, inflammatory in nature that is upregulated secondary to a B12 deficiency or a folate deficiency. But it's something I was going to say, I know that, but exactly. You know. Right. No, uh, I'm just no, kidding. It, it, it's common knowledge. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, but, obviously. Who doesn't know that? Yeah, who doesn't know that? <laughs> but at, at any rate, um, that's, that's something that we go through and, and, you know, and discussing and saying, Hey, is this something that interests you? And is this something that you want to order on yourself? And yeah, let's get it ordered because our doctors specialize in reviewing that stuff and telling you what you should do about it. <laughs> Gina, what? <laughs> um, I've actually, 
uh, I was talking to Andrew about you before oh, good. You know, when we were setting up because, you know, he said, cause he, I hadn't mentioned first of all, who my co-host was. Uh-huh. I was very excited to announce it was my best friend. <laughs> and, and he's like, who the fuck is that? And she's 52. <laughs> Not yet. He oh. almost 52 May, uh, May the 4th. Um, but he was asking if you've ever had your blood work done and like your hormones and stuff. And I said, no, she oh. hasn't. And I'm sure she's going to have lots of really great questions for you. Oh, okay. Well, set me up for that one. I'm literally, more I don't so. have any great, more like, uh, I mean, so ask him, ask him this one that you talked to me about, What about, uh, is it something that you should do? Even if you feel like you should have things checked or you should like you, some levels are off. Yeah. Well, if you don't have to, if you're going to need them all the time. Right. Well, so, so the thing is, is that I went through menopause early. I mean, I, I would consider it earlier, like uh, any friends that are my age um, are still kind of like entering into it or have, you know, they started later than me. And I was, I mean, pretty much what they call, and again, not a doctor, have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but I went in, uh, I think I hadn't had a period for over a year and they were like, oh, I mean, like, yeah, you're, you're like done. I mean, not like done. I mean, I would have like hot flashes, but I didn't have like any like major side effects. I kind of was like, oh, well, fuck. How did I just like breeze through menopause? But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's better than most women. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, but, but I, what I'm noticing without having, you know, those hormones or I, I don't know how to explain it whatever I'm lacking in, whatever I got rid of now that I'm like on my way to dying. Um, it's a good uh, way <laughs> on my way to my death, <laughs> on my way to my death. Um, I'm no, I'm noticed. I mean, they always say like certain things come with age, but I mean, obviously things that I was doing in my thirties, aren't going to work for me, like for my physical body in my fifties. And it's almost like, I was doing really well through my, you know, mid to late forties. And then all of a sudden it was like 50 and it was like, ha ha, you know, now you're going to get the belly fat. Now you're going to be extremely exhausted. Now you're going to get the brain fog and now you're going to get all these things. So, um, and when I went to my doctor at the time, they were like, well, are you, are you experiencing this and this and this? I said, no, I said, well, like, am I supposed to go on hormones? Cause I have other girlfriends that went on hormones. And they were like, well, I mean, what are you prolonging? And I said, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, eventually if you go on these certain things, they, they, they want you to get off of them. And then they said that once you get off of them, then you just start having symptoms again. So I was like, I mean, no. So I just have never done anything. Wow. I have so many thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to, do I need to get in contact with the dot org? Yeah. No, uh, I mean, if you, if you keep talking to that doctor, maybe. Yeah. You're on the, you're on the, we're talking to the wrong doctor. He's well, like, so, actually, I have a different site that I need you to contact. No, that's, I mean, that's you know, the first time I've heard anything about that because like I, my only experience is my mom and my dad who have been doing, I mean, <clears throat> years and years ago before they really got into their bioidentical hormone therapy. I mean, it was just, you still have like a lot of years left and they just felt God awful. I mean, well, whoever it, my it, doctor is was like, you just need to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, He's like, what do you, what do you, you no future? What are you prolonging? <laughs> yeah. There's a, uh, so I know Louis CK has gotten a bad rap over the course of the last, uh, what, mm-hmm. two years or so, but he has one, one bit where he's like, you know, I went in, my ankle was not feeling great and they took an x-ray and the doctor was like, yeah, it's just like not good anymore. And he, <laughs> right. his response is like, what do you mean? It's not good anymore. He's like, is there anything I can do for it? And the doctor's like, yeah, you can stretch, yeah. stretch a lot. Right. Okay. He's like, okay. How long do I do that for? And he goes, no, no, <laughs> that's just what you do now. Oh, that's, that's just, that's just what happens now. So it, we, your, right. your description there is, is very typical of like people going and, and it's it, unfortunately for Louis, you know, often his own world, but yeah. it, what you described is exactly that where you go into a doctor now in a sick care model and they're just kind of like, I don't really have any solutions for you, but like, you know, here's maybe a bandaid, maybe. I know this is what's crazy. Like you hear about people that, that, uh, there's like certain procedures that can be done. Like when they're like 80, 
Yeah. You know, yep. <laughs> but hello. Yeah. I'm not 80. No. So yeah. I, a lot of things. So you, uh, you mentioned a lot of things there. Um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> so I, 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 I work with two women, uh, their sisters. Uh, one woman started with me and she was like, Hey, my sister's really interested. Um, I think she's just going to, you know, take whatever labs I get and, and go to her, her, you know, gynecologist and get these labs run. Uh, so this woman that I started working with, we ordered super comprehensive labs, ended up getting her started. She had super low progesterone. She had severe PMS symptoms, couldn't lose belly fat, uh, couldn't lose fat in general. Um, and her, her, she was just exhausted all the time, mm -hmm. sleeping constantly. Um, in addition to that, she just pissed at her kids, right? They couldn't, couldn't handle dealing with her kids. Right. Uh, and her sister had pretty much all the same symptoms, right? They're, they're genetically hereditarily very similar. Um, so we got this woman going on a bunch of different things. I uh, got her progesterone in line with a bioidentical progesterone, got her on a topical testosterone, got her on a, a, a morning dose of thyroid, got her on a slew of different supplements to correct micronutrient deficiencies. Um, and then, uh, uh, what am I missing? Probably something, but, uh, I mean, generally, or she, she reached out two and a half weeks later. She was like, wow, what a difference. Meanwhile, her two sister, and a half weeks, two and a half weeks, right? Two and a half weeks. Wow. That's it. Um, it, generally it takes more time. And I will talk about here in a second, how women are complicated and they're underrepresented in the world of longevity medicine. But that said, her sister, meanwhile, is going to her gynecologist and, and going to the gynecologist and like, listen, I've got these issues. I'm, I've got severe PMS. I want to run labs. I want to see what's going on. Can you help me do this? And the gynecologist looks back at her and says, well, first off the PMS stuff, what I can give you is an antidepressant for when you are right. really experiencing significant PMS symptoms. What you want to, it's, it's, it's obviously hormonal, but you want to, you want to just put a bandaid of a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor on me, right? You want to prescribe me some Prozac. That's right. crazy. Absolutely insane. And then uh, in addition to that, she was like, hey, and here's this list of labs I'd like to get. And the gynecologist ordered all the labs with the exception of anything hormonal. <laughs> Makes sense, <laughs> right? <laughs> are, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. You're, you're, like you're, you're a doctor of reproductive organs that produce these hormones. You're not going to run hormones. So needless to say, this woman's now working with us too and has a, had a very similar lab profile to her sister. And she's seen great benefit too. So, you right. know, able to lose fat, tolerating her kids. Uh, all of a sudden they're, both of them are sleeping better, not necessarily needing as much sleep, but getting really good quality sleep, uh, feeling stronger in the gym. Uh, libido is back to where it once was, but to answer your question on, Hey, once you start them, you can't stop them. You kind of just go back to where you were. I mean, yeah, if you, if you want to feel better then certainly, but it, you know, you think about these uh, postmenopausal women or like yourself. And the first thing that I think of personally is osteoporosis. I think of loss of bone density, right? And I don't know why, but that's just, you know, ingrained in my head and sex hormones are so important for maintaining bone density. So, and then women are taught, you know, their entire lives. Oh, you need to take tons of calcium. Whereas calcium salts are actually terrible for you, right? It, they, mm -hmm. they increase your risk for uh, um, atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. They increase your risk for things like Alzheimer's and dementia. Uh, and you don't, you don't want calcium in your blood. You want it in your bones. So how do you get in your bones? Well, vitamin D3, right? You need to be taking tons of D3. But in addition to that, you need progesterone, right? A very important sex hormone. You need estrogens, estradiol specifically there, and estriol. It's another form. And you need testosterone. You need all of those compounds there to actually feel like a normal person. So you mentioned, hey, you know, I'm starting to store belly fat. Well, why do premenopausal women not store belly fat? Well, it's because that's estrogen, right? Estrogen causes you to store fat in your legs, in your butt, in your arms, not in your belly. Guys store fat in their belly. Um, and one of the reasons is that's just a, a fat storage mechanism of testosterone, right? So these women oftentimes uh, postmenopausal have a little bit higher levels of testosterone, not necessarily high enough, but just high enough in relation to their estrogens that all of a sudden now they're storing belly fat. And in addition to all of that, they're progesterone deficient. So you got to, you got to correct that. You get, you had to give somebody all that stuff back. Uh, so Gina, we should talk. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I was like, wow. <laughs> That's a, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> Man, that would be great. Yeah. That would be really great. Energy. What's that? I know. Like, as I'm sitting here, it's like, yeah, okay. Energy. I just woke up on the couch. <laughs> I know, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a mess, Andrew. Yes, we need to talk. Yeah, well, let's do it. But I think, yeah. uh, you know, the other thing that's that's more and more apparent is, I mean, guys are guys are somewhat simple. I've, I've said this to you, Brooke, several yeah. times, right? You get, guys come in and they're just not feeling the right way. And you know, as guys age, I know they lose testosterone. Everyone thinks about hormone replacement. They typically think about women going through menopause, but female hormones are kind of tough and most doctors avoid them at all costs. Uh, for a Mine couple clearly of reasons, has. Of is, <laughs> right, right. And, yeah. and it, 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 for a couple of reasons, but I think truthfully, it's just because it's hard, right? Uh, women are much harder, harder to dial in. It takes a couple of months, three, four months, and even a year after that to see full benefit. Guys, it's, it's easy with hormones. Um, but women, you really got to take some time. But one thing that we pride ourselves in at Live is we're, we're good at female longevity. We're good at female hormones. Our doctors really specialize in that stuff. And, you know, the first thing that everyone thinks about when they think about hormones is cancer. Um, but truthfully, that's exactly that. I was that and I right. think that that's what like freaks me out too. And right. I'm terrible at going to the doctor. I'm terrible at taking supplements at all of that kind of stuff. I have all bit. the solutions. Okay. I have, I have all, oh. all the solutions. Okay. Um, Perfect. So first of all, I'll send you all your supplements and little personalized pouches, morning and evening pouches. Uh -huh. You don't have to open a bottle again. Uh, but then the other part of it is, uh, in terms of cancer risk and, and, and being scared there, uh, I, I get it. It's valid. Um, but much of the time, the, um, what am I getting at here? So risk for cancer comes from your metabolization of hormones, not the hormones themselves. So everybody has a predisposition to metabolizing hormones a certain way. And yes. if you're metabolizing your estrogens down a special pathway, toward what's called a uh, four or 16 hydroxy estrone, as opposed to a two methoxy estrogen, two methoxy estrogen is good. A four or a 16 hydroxy estrone, really bad, significant increased risk for uh, breast cancer, for hormonally sensitive cancers, right? But it's really just hormonally sensitive cancers. So it's all about mitigating cancer risk, right? It, it's, it's all about how, how do I turn this around? And mm -hmm. there are different ways you can do that with certain supplements, you can actually push estrogen metabolism in a better direction. The other thing that women think about are, you know, side effects associated with hormones. Um, certainly if you drive estrogens a little bit too high in men or women, you, people get a little bit nutty um, just because that's what estrogen does, right? It makes you a little emotional. Um, but then the other side of it is uh, too much testosterone. Well, that's hair loss. That's acne. That's... Um, yeah, I don't want any uh, of that. Yeah, but it, all those risks are associated with using too much, right? Right. Um, so that's why you do all the blood stuff every, so you the can see work, their levels. And... Our, goal, our goal is not to go super physiologic, right? It's, supposed, it's ideally to stay in this optimal window. So maybe your reference range is like this. That reference range doesn't mean anything, right? That's, that's, it's, it's total BS. Okay. Um, we like to dial everything into something like this. Or I guess for you, looking at me the way I'm here, it'd be like this and then high end of normal. So like dialed in here. Goal is uh -huh. never to go super physiologic because super physiologic levels is when you start to see some ontology um, associated with the side effects. If any of you are looking for a game, a great download for your phone that you can play when you're traveling, when you are like Gina and you wake up in the morning and you're still laying in bed, but you want to try and beat some levels, you have got to download best fiends and how you spell that is f-i-e-n-d-s but it is pronounced fiends this is a very fun game to play and it's very difficult to put it down in fact i have not been playing it that long and i'm already on level 82 however gina is beating me and um i think she might be embarrassed if i tell you what level she's on but best fiends it's a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play and whether you have just like a few minutes to play or maybe a few hours because you're on a very long flight best fiends is the perfect puzzle game the game features features tons of cute characters that help you solve thousands of puzzles. If you're like me, maybe not quite in the thousands yet, but if you're like Gina, definitely in the thousands. My favorite time to play Best Fiends is in the morning when I first wake up, if I'm still kind of tired and I'm not ready to get out of bed yet. And then especially when I am traveling, if I'm on a road trip, but I'm not the one driving or if I'm sitting in an airplane. Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Fiends. Well, they say new year, new me. And I, believe me, I'm trying to make it a new me. And I just do not have the time to go grocery shopping, to figure out what I want to cook, making a big old mess. 
Just no time for that, so I use Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24 7 with fresh, never frozen prepared meals that are so delicious you wouldn't believe they're actually good for you. Factor saves me time by delivering chef crafted meals to my doorstep, eliminating the hassle of grocery shopping and meal prep, not to mention cleanup, no dishes. Each Factor meal arrives pre prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's even faster than ordering in. And Factor tackles the tough stuff so I don't have to. They're registered dietitians and expert chefs chefs work hand in hand to create meals with nutritious ingredients. And with more than 27 meal options each week, I'm never bored. Factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan, veggie meals, cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep me fueled and focused all day long. Head to go.factor75.com slash reps120 and use code reps120 to get $120 off. That's code reps120 at go.factor75 dot com slash reps 120 for $125 off. So, so say I, I get all my tests done and then I'm get on a, a regiment. Uh, and because I don't know, do people continually those levels change or like once, once you get them on a plan, they tend to stay that way. Or do they have to like continue to get blood work done like often to, to make sure that you're still in that range? Yeah. So or, you gotta, you gotta get, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a, Hey, the doctor looks at your levels says, Hey, I think this dosage and, and protocol is probably best for you. So let's use progesterone as an example. It's, it's a really easy one. Um, progesterone is, is most often given from a bioidentical hormone standpoint as a, an oral, and it's really the only hormone you should be taking orally, Mm -hmm. um, or a topical now oral progesterone helps a lot with mood regulation. It also helps a lot with sleep quality topical. You don't really get that benefit. So most often you go with an oral form and something you, most women are going to take at night and that's how our doctors prescribe it. Um, but that said, very typical starting dose that I see a lot of women start at is somewhere around maybe a hundred milligrams of a sustained release capsule. And you have to rerun that. You have to recheck that over time because you want to see how it's looking in relation to your estrogens. Typically after you check labs every three, six months for a couple of times around, uh, you can dial it back, but generally we're data people. So we like to get labs every you know six months or so anyway. Okay. Um, at, at a but this isn't like a, you go in every month and no, 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 no. Um, Cause I'm it, fine really... with sticking needles in my forehead, but I really hate having my blood drawn. <laughs> I have no idea right, why. Right, right. I, had, yeah. I had one of our, one of our doctors the other day told me to come to my office. I really need to give you some Botox. So no, <laughs> my, or what is it? And my, 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 yeah, other, you're my, a my, frown. Brother-in-law, my brother-in-law calls it my bitch mark. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get your bitch mark. Or your little frown, the guy, right. right. Yeah, Resting so. bitch face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I had one of my uh, doctors tell me that the other day. So I get the deals in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks. I was like, yeah, awesome. Yeah, she, cool. she, she was like, what are you doing? You look so good, but you need some Botox. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm all okay, for it. Thanks. She yeah. said, Just fly down to Florida. Come see me. Yeah. I'll give you some Botox. <laughs> oh, <okay>. great. I <laughs> love <you>. it. <laughs> so yeah, no, so labs every three, four months, typically starting out is, is normal. Unless we find something, it's like, Hey, we should run some labs sooner. Okay. Maybe every six weeks or right after a lab draw, but it's not really, there's no schedule, right? It's all customized to you, it's whatever you need. Okay. So a lot of people are like, do I get labs every three months? Do I get them every, you know, how often do I have to get labs? Probably at a minimum once a year, but you're going to get them more often than that. But, uh, so you're saying that you get them more often, like starting out. Yeah. So starting out until everything's dialed in. Because, you know, everyone's different, right? Yeah. A hundred milligrams of progesterone for one person might be very different for another person. Um, I apologize. Let me get this. Well, you're up. fine. You don't have to apologize. I've got, I've got a lawn crew because, you know, I'm at home and uh, my mom's downstairs and this house is built so you can hear. <laughs> well, really, they, they, they built it. So my nephew, my nephew's special needs. So if he's in his bedroom. We could be upstairs, my parents' room on the other side of the house downstairs, and you can hear him if he needs you. So you can hear everything. (laughs) Everything. (laughs) You can hear everything. So don't apologize. One thing that's cool about what we do is we have a HIPAA compliant text line. 
So if patients ever want to reach out to us or contact us, they can, they can do so. So I've just got tons of patients just messaging in today for whatever reason. Um, yeah. How do I access my lab requisition? Um, but yeah, that's one thing that's cool about us is you can live chat us or text us whenever you want. Gina, look at this. What? Should have seen me trying to put this on my arm the other night. Ooh, that looks good. What is that? That's just checking my glucose. Uh, CGM. Yeah. What, how, yeah. You got to wear that all day? There's a needle in there. Two weeks. I got to wear it for two weeks. What and actually, hell? I'll probably be wearing it more than just two weeks, but they I, each one lasts for 14 days. That's cool. It's, and, then uh, I go, and then I go like this. Yeah. Hang on, I'll show you. I have this app. I'm trying to figure out these apps, too. Yeah. <laughs> Click on it, and then I go check my glucose, and then I scan it. Bam. Dude, that is so crazy. <laughs> 94. Ooh, when was the last time you ate? Is that low? When, when did you eat last? Is that bad? I had a breakfast burrito at eight at 8.15. And wait, wait, what time zone are you in? 9.28. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. That's, so, that's good. That's a pretty good response. I've been using it now. Did you measure your, did you measure right after so about 15 minutes after you ate the burrito? No, I didn't, but I have been, I, you can't really see this. Can you? No. Not quite. You see it? Whoops. No. Can you see it now? Sort of. Oh, oh yeah. This way. Closer. Ah, right there. Yeah. That looks pretty good. You don't have any crazy spike. What was the bottom one? Did I see a higher one at the bottom? There was 137 right after I exercised. Yeah. I mean, that's, I did, I, um, let's see, where's it at? Uh, daily graph yesterday. There is this, see that, that was, see that red, that red area. Yeah. I put it on not last night, but the night before. And then I woke up. Wait, you put it on yourself. I thought it has a needle in it. It does. (laughs) What is it like a push pin? Like you just, yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's got oh. a, it, it's, it's, it has a little, it's, it's like a, a gun almost, right? Yeah. And you place it over and it, it goes in yeah. and actually, I don't think it's a needle. It, it puts like a, um, almost like an IV tube in you, like is a, that little, that is? Uh, a little cannula or something. And then it, hopefully you didn't leave the needle in. <laughs> all I know, all I know no, is I don't, I don't <laughs> wait, wait, hold yeah, on. It didn't, hold on. It, hurt. it didn't hurt when you put it on, right? No, it didn't hurt. Yeah. You can even feel it. Okay. So this is what I had to do, Gina. So I get, I get my thing. Okay. This is what happens when you get it. So it came in the mail in a uh-huh. box and it had the box with the, like the sensor. Mm-hmm. And then you, oh, it's like in a little canister and you pull the top off and it's, I'm reading all the instructions. And then there's another piece that's like this tall and you twist mm-hmm. it to take like the, the cover off basically. And then you just push it into the container that has like the sensor in there all the way down. Yeah. And then you pull it out. And it's now loaded. It's locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Got yeah. It. And then you take your alcohol swab. I'm like, this is the best part. I'm How look- do you know where to put it? Okay. So I'm looking at the diagrams <laughs> and there's, I'm on the app, like setting it up and I'm swiping through, having to go back. And I see that it shows this picture of a, a person's body from the back and it's highlighted like the back of the arm. Okay. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay. And I'm looking in the mirror. I'm in my bedroom. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, okay, yeah, like right there. And then I see the picture where it says they like put their arm up like this. They can just like put it on. But every time I put my arm up, I'm like, wait, is that, is that the is right that the spot? spot? And so I put it back down and look in the mirror. <laughs> I would, mar- I would like mark it with a pen or something like <laughs> help, help so, yeah. someone help me. I yeah. have it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I read it. It goes, and then just press firmly on your arm and then pull it off slowly. And I'm like, how is this going to be like, I've had, I've had my finger pricks. So my grandma and my aunt both diabetic, like my whole life. So they would, I'd always want them to prick my finger. So I'm thinking like, you know, they prick <laughs> such your a finger. sadistic weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted them to like check my blood too. But every time it would like, if you use one of those, like the, the little, yeah, the little like pen gun thing, yeah, it's like a little- it kind of like, it like clicks and it like shoots in, it. right? I, yeah. I hate finger pricks. It's like, 
So I had no idea what I was getting myself in for. I was like, how hard is this going to, is it going to yeah, like prick me or like, so I'm in there and I'm like, I put it up and I'm like, I start to kind of push on it and I stop. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You pushed out. I did. And I'm like, I, thought, I thought I was going to have to go down and find my mom to make her do it. But then I finally, I'm like, that would be me like sweating. Yeah. I'm like psyching myself out. I'm like, come yeah. on. Gumption up the first time you do something. All right. So, and then yeah. I just, I just like exactly. push on it and I'm like, oh. And I don't think it works. Empty. And then I take it off and I'm like, all right, I did it. Felt very okay. proud. Go downstairs. I'm like, I had to have my mom put the, like the little, little uh, badge over it. It's like Kinesis tape covers it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did so, it. So, have you? Uh, what's your? What have your nighttime glucose be, uh, readings been? Well, last. Well, hang night- on. So, so the reason that we uh, that that Doctor Earth recommended the CGM is because you're not sleeping great, right? Yeah, so, yeah. okay. Well, what what are we looking for there? Potentially some insulin spikes at night. But hopefully a little bit of progesterone also helps, but we'll hopefully be able to see what's going on with your glucose levels in the middle of the night. And if you're spiking those glucose levels, it also probably means you're spiking your cortisol levels. And then we can do something about that, right? There, there are supplements you can actually lose to, use to drive cortisol down. And you can also implement things to push down on, on, on glucose. So like berberine or um, something called relora to help with cortisol. But yeah. So how's your sleep been? Well, that first, so not last night, but the night before, that's when I saw the red. I woke up wide, I wide awake, 3 a.m. No, it was like, it was like 3.59. I wake up, I get my phone, I do a scan, right? And I looked at it and it showed that like probably around, hard to kind of tell in there, but maybe like 2.30 or something like that. It started to really drop down. And th- like through the hour of 3 a.m. And then it had started to rise up, getting closer to four. So it was kind of out of red when I scanned it. You know, went back. To- oh, <laughs> this is before I started. I started taking my progesterone because I had got this, but I hadn't uh, got that yet or started taking that yet. So I had a cup of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, you guys. I, I wake up. Sometimes usually it's like 2 a.m. Could be three o'clock in the morning. Brooke is a middle of the night snacker. I get hungry. <laughs> well, yeah, you're a snacker. That's the issue here. I wake yeah. up. It's like, listen, I'm not proud of it. I am ashamed. <laughs> no one's judging you. There's no I've one been judging you. I wake, myself I wake up. Sandwiches at yeah. <laughs> I wake up middle of the night, wide awake. It's not like I just kind of wake up because I have to go pee. It's like, ding, wide awake. I'm like, and I look at my clock and I'm like, are you going to be fucking kidding me? This is not a time to feel this awake. I need to figure out a way to go back to sleep. <laughs> Usually have a snack, go back to sleep. I w- and then when I wake up in the morning, like to get out of bed, I'm starving. It's almost like I'm so hungry that I feel nauseous. And this is a normal, this is like a very normal occurrence. But I honestly, um, Cause I got it when I got it put on, I wanted to actually message you, Andrew. Cause I was trying to figure out like, what is my range? You know, the app, um, what app is it? Libra link, Libra link. It has you put in your range or whatever. I didn't know what my range should be. So I was like, well, I don't really, maybe it doesn't really matter as long as we can see what I'm doing. Then Andrew can see like how it's trending. We'll just, uh, we'll just track it and see what's going on there. And Really, I mean, keep track of, you know, the order that you're eating things. Mm. So you sit down and I mean, generally you should try to eat your fibrous things first, but keep track. Like, okay, I've got some rice on my plate. I've got a little, you know, some portion of meat and I've got a carb, you know, typical, uh, see how it changes your, your spike in glucose, depending on what you eat first. Right. So that's one thing. When would you say is the best time or how often I should be? scanning it and then should i scan it before i eat or should i scan it at right after i eat i would scan it before you eat and then i would scan it i mean if you can i i, I love data so there's one sensor called the dexcom g6 mm-hmm. fortunately it's like 800 dollars a month it's my crazy. aunt has my aunt has to is using but that it's truly a constant glucose meter right it, because it's uh or monitor because it's 
doing every time point, like every five minutes. So in an ideal world, you would have it every five minutes. Um, but as, as often as you can, right? So, I mean, probably for, uh, before you start eating, first thing in the morning when you wake up, uh, before you start eating, before any meal, and uh, probably, you know, every 15 minutes for an hour and a half, two hours after you're done eating. So you can see how it's trending. And then again, before a meal. And then, hey, but that's a lot, right? So, I'm like, dude, that's like a full-time job. She's yes, just it's, scanning it's glucose. A lot, it's a lot of tracking. She's like, what do you do for work? I scan my glucose. I just go it's a lot of tracking. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Scan. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess it's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that bad. And it's so, it's not like it's not like this is your new normal, right? This is just to get get some information. This is just to it. see what's going on. Um, Mine would be like a glass of wine, <laughs> glass of wine, <laughs> glass of wine. <laughs> 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 it's so bad. <laughs> I think that's the other reason why I never have like tests done because I'm like, oh, they're gonna know how bad I really am. Yeah, yeah but I mean, I don't judge you. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> okay, perfect. I, uh, perfect. Maybe, no maybe judgment not. zone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I won't. I mean, I'm as, okay. I'm as bad as anyone. I, it's do as I say, not as I do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> For the longest time, I really tried to focus when it came to oral care, to dental care, regular teeth cleanings, flossing has been a huge thing. I've been trying to make sure I do every single day, brush my teeth, keep my mouth clean, keep my teeth clean. But something I haven't really thought about until, you know, the last couple of years or so is really the ingredients in all of my dental care products and how toxic a lot of them are. They're not good for my health or for my teeth. And I really do want the best for my oral health. Products made with natural ingredients. And that's why I'm giving Lumino a try. And so far, I am absolutely loving it. Lumino makes toothpaste, mouthwash, and white products that actually help your oral health instead of hurting it. You won't find harsh bleaches, artificial dyes, or alcohol in any of the Lumino products. Everything they make is dentist formulated, backed by over 50 studies, and proven to protect the good bacteria in your smile, also known as the microbiome. So far, my favorite Lumino product are their whitening strips. They're super effective and perfect for sensitive teeth, and I have really sensitive teeth. And they only take 30 minutes to apply, and you'll see results in seven days. I love how my smile feels and looks, and I know you'll love Lumino as much as we do. Get 15% off your order today by going to lumino.com slash reps and use the code reps. That's G-E-T-L-U-M-I-N-E. E-U-X dot com slash reps and use the code reps to save 15%. Get Lumino dot com slash reps. We know that diet and exercise is important, but our all around health is about so much more. Research increasingly shows that a healthy gut microbiome is crucial to a healthy life. Pendulum Therapeutics is the first and only biotech company to one, isolate an important beneficial bacterial strain and two, put that strain into a convenient new probiotic rich capsule that is formulated to help manage type two diabetes and nurture your body's microbiome. Pendulum Glucose Control is the first and only medical probiotic clinically shown to help manage type two diabetes when taken with medication. We at Between the Reps encourage our listeners to learn how pendulum glucose control can help them manage their diabetes naturally. Over time, people with type 2 diabetes lose the gut bacteria that helps them digest fiber and manage blood glucose levels. For those with type 2 diabetes, diet and exercise alone are often not enough to manage it. The best approach emphasizes diet, exercise, and a healthy gut microbiome. This connection has been widely recognized by leading scientists studying diabetes, including the American Diabetes Association, Mayo Clinic, Johns Hopkins, and others. It can feel like an uphill battle to keep post-meal blood sugar and A1C levels where you need them. Pendulum glucose control can help. With Pendulum, you can feel in control of your levels, not the other way around. Pendulum is the only place to purchase a newly isolated, highly sought-after strain called Ackermansia. Formulated and bottled in the U.S. with the highest safety and quality standards, and it's non-GMO project verified. If you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, take control of glucose levels with Pendulum glucose control. Use code reps at pendulumlife.com to get 20% off all products. That's P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M-L-I-F-E.com, promo code reps for 20% off. No, I've been doing better on the drinking, but what's weird is that, because before it was like, 
if you, cause I'm definitely like a, a few glasses of wine a night person, right? Terrible. I know it's awful, but, um, <laughs> I, as soon as I, I'm doing this challenge right now. So I'm only allowed like to drink like two days a week. I know most people are like, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm like, that's really not a lot for me. Um, and I'm sleeping worse. So what's up with that? Like, I can't, I can't uh, fall asleep. I think that's what it is. I probably wasn't getting good sleep before, you know, just like makes like, you know, you get have like a couple glasses of wine and you get like relaxed and sleepy and then I would fall asleep. But now I'm like struggling to even fall asleep. That's me. That's why I've been, uh, I and like, started, and like you said, wide awake. I started, um, taking, eating edibles at night to help me sleep. And then I feel like shit in the morning that does happen. Um, but even for me, like I had one last night and not just any, I mean, these ones, they're called snooze berry. Okay. Right. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> you got sleep get, ready, in the name. Like, get ready to snore. Yeah. And I was <laughs> wide awake, uh, 4am. Yeah. Was well, that glucose or that, or you're saying that's like progesterone. Look at me. I'm trying to like diagnose myself or give myself a plan. <laughs> I mean, you're so Progesterone can make you sleepy, right? Which is a huge benefit to it. Um, mm-hmm. That'd be an easy target for you. But the other side of it is we just got to do full labs and yeah. you need to know more about your whole medical history when you're eating in relation to when you're going to sleep. Um, but the other side of it is you should be tracking your sleep with something. So a whoop or an aura ring or um, a muse are all really good devices for tracking sleep. You can also use a Garmin watch or I think even um, Fitbit does something reasonable. I have a Sunto watch. It's okay. Um, okay. For sleep, but some level of sleep tracking would be great. So you can actually see the quality of sleep that you're getting. And then, you know, keeping track of how easy it is for you to fall asleep. But I mean, is, is it a circumstance of once you're asleep, you're, you're good to go? No, no, I'm a horrible oh. sleeper. Horrible. Has that always been the case or is that recent? Um, since I can remember. I mean, when I was younger, it was because, I mean, I had my, my son, my first kid at like 19, um, you know, I've had like four kids. It's just, I felt like it was just like a mom life. Right. I mean, you know, you never sleep. You're constantly, you know, you're up late because you worked all day and then you do everything and then you go to bed and then you get up early and you get all the kids, you know? So, and then in between, yeah. And which so many people go through and, and, and everybody, you know, has lots of shit on their plate. But what's crazy is that as soon as um, my life got easier, I almost feel like I sleep worse, if that makes sense. How many hours of sleep do you get? Well, um, I fell asleep at 4 a.m. and I slept till 7 something. So three. (laughs) That's not like an every night thing. But I would say like on average, I always have interrupted sleep, but I probably sleep. I mean, like if I ever get like seven or eight hours, that's like, um, I must be sick. So probably like five, six hours. So you could be somebody that doesn't necessarily need a lot of sleep. The average person needs seven, eight hours of sleep. Yeah. Um, but the different things you need, we need to look at would be, um, for one glucose, right? Well, what's your insulin sensitivity, but also hormones and then also sleep hygiene, right? You know, I'm a, I'm a dirty hygiene. sleeper. Yeah. Dirty sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> sleep hygiene. He's uh, like, you are you not rushing. You are a dirty sleeper. I've slept with you so many times. You're my favorite sleep sleep part. Sleep. Part. I know, I know. I'm not good at like remember. I don't brush my teeth all the time before I go to bed. I'm actually going to do that from now on when I'm talking to patients and they tell me that they they don't have good sleep hygiene. I'm just I'm not going to say hygiene. I'm going to say, oh, it sounds like you're a dirty sleeper. <laughs> They're going to say, what? I mean, I wash my face. (laughs) You mean I'm a dirty sleeper? (laughs) So. (laughs) Excuse me. um, Yeah. Sleep hygiene. I mean, what I'm referring to there is, uh, you know, what are the things you should be doing in bed? Um, Eating, sleeping, maybe having sex. Yeah. Probably nothing else. You shouldn't be looking at your phone. You should, oh, oh, okay. uh, you know, you, you should, if you, if you can't sleep, go somewhere else, right. Go somewhere else and, and, you know, 
do something, do something active, meditate, and then go get back in bed. No, I thought you meant go sleep I, somewhere else. I'm yeah, just no, like no. randomly. <laughs> but I mean, that, that's, that's first thing outside. Yeah. The other thing is, you know, turning all electronics off within an hour of going to sleep or longer if you can. Um, next thing would be, I mean, if you can swing it, some people respond really well to either a sauna or, you know, a hot shower before sleep. Um, and, and again, you know, 20 minutes of meditation. So that would be huge just from a lifestyle standpoint. Um, probably four hours in between the last thing of caloric value that goes in your mouth and going to sleep. However, there are some sub subsets of people that respond really well to some form of high carbohydrate load right before they go to sleep. So that's where that, <laughs> yep. Yes, right. It's me. That is me. There's no way in hell I can sleep on it on like an empty stomach. And I don't need a lot. Like I don't need a lot of food. I'll have dinner. You know, we'll have exactly. dinner around like 6 37 I'll tell you right now i am 100 percent having a snack before i get in bed <laughs> and there have been times where like it's so funny like when i don't feel the need to do that i am so proud of myself it's not it's not often like that i get in bed and i'm like ah, i don't need a snack i'm just gonna go to sleep <laughs> So unfortunately, so yet there are some people that need that carbohydrate load to help them sort of relax and, and, and get to bed. But unfortunately, growth hormone is, is really what you're hitting on when you're going to sleep, right? And, but growth hormone is only produced in a fasted state. So when you're in a fed state, your body doesn't produce uh, growth hormone as well. Growth hormone is, um, it's, it's ghrelin is what's released from your gut when you're in a fasted state. And that tells your body to turn off somatostatin and then keep growth hormone on. So it's feedback loop, but, uh, in so doing you pro by, by going to bed in a fasted state, uh, four hours or even one hour, right? Something you're promoting growth hormone release, growth hormone suppresses cortisol. So when you secrete growth hormone, everyone has a bleed, right? You pulse growth hormone nine to 11 times a day, but in so doing every time you pulse it, you suppress cortisol and vice versa. So, uh, you know, while, when you're going to sleep, if you're in a fasted state, you're more likely to get a really efficient growth hormone bleed, putting you into deeper sleep, better repair, better recovery. And also, you know, there are two pathways that growth hormone goes down. One of which is, and it does a lot of things. So I'm oversimplifying a little bit, but it does burn fat directly for energy. So that's great, right? You're burning fat while you sleep and, or burning calories in general. It doesn't matter if you're like, burning sign fat. me up. Yeah. Right. But the other thing that it does is it hits your liver to produce something called IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor. And insulin-like growth factor is what's responsible for all of the anabolic changes that you see with growth hormone, which is super, super important for recovery and repair. So you want to make sure you're getting a really efficient growth hormone release at that point in time. So Brooke, I know you like food right before you go to sleep. I know I'm over here. I'm over here like, you know, <laughs> growth hormone and repair. And I'm like, ow, ow. <laughs> Gotta have that snack, but I can't move very well. Got a fused neck and bum shoulders. I just heard him mention liver, and I was like, I'm fucked for sure. <laughs> so my liver's my liver's not well, we secreting anything, but just I don't know, Who's? shriveling up or something. Well, when was the last time you got labs? Me? Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> this is a little embarrassing. I don't know. <laughs> well, it, well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're special, but you're not that special. Yeah. Right? Oh, there thanks. are a lot of people like you. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> you're, you're I'm not just, alone. You're not alone. I'm, you know, I was, I usually would go and, you know, do like my one, my once a year physical, you know, a mammogram and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like when COVID hit, it just made me like the laziest person ever. Like, I know that they've been like open again. That's been like my excuse for so long, even though their, their office was probably closed for like three months. But, um, you know, I just, I need to, I, I guess for me, it's like every time I go in, I don't really feel like <laughs> it sounds terrible. Like there's a point. <laughs> right. Well, that's because <laughs> what you're used to is a doctor looking yeah. at your labs and saying, yeah, everything looks good. Everything's right. Fine. Even yeah, though a doctor, doctor telling you, what are you prolonging? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what are you? I don't know. I don't know I'm why like, we would check your labs. I mean, you're on I'm your like, way to death. Yeah, yeah my my life. Prolong. I'm trying to prolong my life. <laughs> 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 like, I guess I don't know. 
Yeah. Uh, you're a dirty sleeper. We're not going to check that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're disgusting. <laughs> we can tell just by looking at you. They're like, you, you got to fix your, you got to, you got to clean up your sleep. before. You <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> Filthy sleeper. Oh my God. So that, so that, that's an interesting point. So we, we aren't a primary care doctor. So mm-hmm. we actually require all of our patients to have primary care doctors. So, uh, in coming in, you'll have to get a physical, um, an annual physical is required, you know, and, and for a couple of reasons and primarily, and, and first and foremost is because we, you know, if something occasionally stuff pops up, occasionally there's something that we aren't equipped to handle, or again, mm-hmm. we're auxiliary health optimization, right? We're not, uh, oncology. We're not hematology. We're yeah. not obstetrics and gynecology. So occasionally you need those people, but you need a primary care doctor to refer that out. So we do require everybody has an annual physical on file with us. So get that done. And then uh, you just need that before you meet with your doctor. Okay. That's the one. It's probably the most painful part of working with us, unfortunately. Got to have an what? It's the most painful part of working with us just because you, you got to have an annual physical. Right. You just got to go yeah. down there. Yeah. yeah. I can handle that. All right. I know Brooke's been on my ass forever. Probably because she's just watching me like shrivel up and <laughs> <laughs> losing. You're, losing. There. you're just melting into your couch with like a glass of wine. And you're look, looking at me like, what am I prolonging? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. At least, I mean, are you using the wine glasses where you can fit a whole bottle of wine? In the glass. I do. I do have those, but I, I purposely don't use them because it makes right. me feel like a very bad person. So right. I just like to break it up so I can't actually see how much I'm drinking. And then I just don't even look at the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> it's not uh, working. Yeah. I like those glasses though. Cause then you don't have to get off the couch. <laughs> That's true. Why? That is very true. <laughs> or you need out of, sheer, out of sheer laziness. Or you need I like a you, very Andrew. long straw. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Or just yeah. at home, right? Just, just, yeah. just do the old school. We have those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. We actually have those. <laughs> no. So, I mean, moderate consumption of wine has actually been shown to be okay. Um, yeah. Moderate. Alcohol. I mean, what moderate actually, what does moderate mean? It's like, it's like three, a one, eight ounce. Three, yeah. Four ounce. Yeah. No, not even <laughs> uh-uh. three, three, four ounce glasses of wine a week. <laughs> oh, that's moderate. Oh, man. Well, that's moderate, but you know, know. the neurotoxin, right? It, it is absolutely a neurotoxin. So what's the benefit in drinking beer and wine? Well, I mean, it's fermented and for one, so it could promote, go, promote gut health. Um, but also red wine gives you some resveratrol, probably not enough resveratrol to make a difference. Resveratrol is associated with anti-aging a lot of ways because it protects your DNA and helps your body to produce NAD, which is, uh, all the rage and longevity right now. Um, but, uh, yeah. So moderate that, consumption, I mean, let's be honest, who, who the hell is going to drink just like three, three ounce glasses of wine a week? That makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, why? Even <laughs> yeah. It's just like, why, a even teaser. Drink, why even open it? Why even yeah. open it? Exactly. The only Seems reason you'd it. only, the only reason you'd only drink a three ounce glass is if that was the only amount you had in your home and you didn't have car keys or a way to get to a store and you didn't yeah. have Uber, <laughs> Uber yeah, Eats. It, it, yeah, it makes that absolutely no sense to me. And, and you know what? I'm sorry. And maybe I'm just sound like an asshole, but if somebody like goes in and they're like, yeah, I just have like my, uh, my, you know, my three ounces, three times a week to a doctor, I'd be like, fucking get out of here. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a liar. I can usually get it out of people. What, you know, what, what, yeah, I, I talked to enough people that I, you know, how much do you really drink? Yeah. Um, but, uh, generally I can tell when they're lying and it's, well, you can see it, right? Usually, well, not, not always. Oh, right? okay. If, if you live super clean for two, three days before you get labs done, then okay. Or if somebody goes and gets labs done and they did drink, but then they also say, oh, I lifted really hard the night before these labs <laughs> and it's, it's like, oh, so maybe it was just some extra stress from your muscles on your liver. But, um, Typically, I double the number that people tell me. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> and this is so funny. So some so, guy told me 16 a week the other day. I was like, okay, so 32. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm seriously like mine is high. But 
it's so funny. Cause like uh, a couple of my girlfriends that are um, closer to my age, like with kids and all of that, I feel like it's like this normal thing that once you hit, like, um, you know, your kids are uh, crazy. And in school, it's like all these, like these moms, like just grouped together and they're just like the wino moms. Right. So this is like a couple of friends of mine and we were going on this, this walk, you know, like moms do. And, um, and we're outside and, and my, my girlfriend goes, she goes, yeah, she's like, I'm really freaking out. Like I went to the doctor and, um, you know, he did all this lab work and he wants me to come in and he wants to talk to me about like all these things. And I'm like really scared. And, and she was telling us that she told the, her doctor that she has like, you know, six drinks a week. And we both looked at her. I mean, this girl like drinks both of us under the table and we were like, he knows you're lying. I mean, he can see your levels. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, it just seems so ridiculous. It's almost like when somebody is doing like their diet and they're like, this is all I'm eating. And it's like hundred percent you're lying. Cause that, that doesn't add up, you know? Right. Yeah. Any, anytime well, you're working with someone on diet, it's like you, you always, <clears throat> you always like rule of thumb is you always assume they're lying, <laughs> especially yeah. if they're trying right. to like get across the board, anyone losing weight, gaining weight, assume they're lying or you're not eating enough or they're eating way more than they think they're eating. Yeah. Even if I lied about the amount of the number of drinks that I, that I had, I probably, uh, couldn't make it as low as I would want to, because it would be obvious. <laughs> that makes sense it always it always like kind of stresses has, has in the past when i'm in when i'm uh i okay well i moved out of california and trying to like you know get back to training and after surgery and i was you know not not drinking working out more eating good and you know since i started training again like we talked about andrew back in august just slowly just always inflamed gaining weight. <laughs> and I, I told Gina, I was like, what the fuck, man? I'm not drinking. I'm exercising. I eat well. And I'm just, it's like, my, I do one leg workout. Can't fit in any of my pants. <laughs> Constantly inflamed. I keep telling you, you're in the dreaded we're, 30s. We're going to get there though. You're in the we'll, dreaded we'll 30s. You. But it would stress me out when you would have to fill out, you know, some sort of form, especially I've, uh, now a lot of things are online, but it's like, how many drinks a week do you have? And when they give you so like the drop down bar and there's yeah. so many options and you're like, they don't even have a number high enough. Oh <laughs> then it like taps off. You're like, um, I'm trying to like, honestly think of like, like recently I've been doing this challenge. So it's not what it normally would be. That's what I should be doing this right now. So it looks like I'm in way better health than I am. Ooh, <sighs> that's not what you should do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. Thank you. People, people are like, so occasionally, you know, I have people that are like, well, I'm, you know, I, I, I go pretty hard in the summer, so I don't really <laughs> want to get labs done in the summer. It's like, no, this is exactly when we should get labs. You yes. Can see what you're doing to yourself. And they're like, no, I just don't want to know. Yeah. What do you mean you don't want to know? Come on. Let's, let, let's look, let's see what's going on. Let's look under the hood. I, I um, think I, I think I don't want to know, but I do. Like, you're just like, I go pretty hard year round. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's never a time I don't go hard. Except during these challenges, right? Well, um, yeah, I never do this shit. No, Brooke, Brooke, what you were saying about diet is so interesting because it, when it, so we don't offer Frank, you know, nutrition planning, but we can, we offer nutritional guidance, right? Especially based on what we see in labs. Um, no, I'm really uh, looking forward to your guidance actually. Yeah. Well, so, it, and it, it's, it's variable. Um, so a lot of people are super into keto. A lot of people are super into carnivore. Some people are Mediterranean. It's, it really depends on the person, but it's funny when you talk to people and you're like, okay, so how's your diet? And they're like, oh, it's really clean. I eat uh, strict paleo. Um, and you're like, <laughs> okay, so like, what's, what do you eat generally in a day? And they go through their list and then, and then you're like, and then they're trying to lose weight. They're like, I just can't lose weight. And they, and you're like, okay, so, uh, what do you really eat? And then, yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're like, well, you know, my wife buys Oreos for the kids. Um, and then they're just sitting there. So then I eat a whole you know, sleeve of Oreos. Um, or, you know, my, my, and it's always kids, right. It's, or, or, you know, my kids don't, so it's always cereal, somebody so else's fault. I am crushing their cereal, <laughs> right. It's, it's always the kids, yes. um, or, oh, you know, I, I didn't, I don't pack lunch every day. So then I get, you know, DoorDash Jersey Mike's, which is really what I do most of the time. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's always funny when you dive a little bit deeper and you're like, okay, so what do you, what do you really eat? What, but I think you, that's what, what so many people 
Yeah. But I think so many people do that where they're like, you know, I mean, normally I eat really well and that, you know, it's like, um, like they think that it's like the majority of the time and they only like barely do this or that. And like when they have to like actually write it down or look at it, they're like, Ugh. but, or, or lie, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, it, it's funny because I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm totally non-judgmental and I, I you know, can, I can have a pretty good conversation with people and then our doctors will read things after the fact. So this guy who had 16 drinks, uh, the doctor, and I was like, Oh yeah, 16 drinks, you know, that doesn't my, even sound like a lot to me. Yeah, well, and it is. And, and you know, in my yeah. mind, I'm thinking, all right, 32. But the doctor saw 16 and was like, oh, my God, you have 16 drinks a week? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, the guy was like, oh, hey, Andrew made it seem like it wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, uh, it, it is that bad. But yeah, that's there, there's stuff we can do about it. Right. Uh, and a lot of people, their social life is important in that way. And you're not going to be able to get them to change that, but there are things you can take to mitigate the risk that alcohol has on your liver. Um, and acetylcysteine, alpha lipoic acid, B complex, vitamin B12. I'm going to need all of those. All you of need them. Help, help your neurotransmitters, 5 HTP. Yeah. What? A lot of stuff you can do. This, you know, having Andrew on here was really just a plan. <laughs> <laughs> this is just another way for you to make me. I'm really longer. trying to get I you to live so much longer. I know. I know. Brooke and I were on the phone last night. We were like, okay, so how should we structure the intervention? <laughs> I know, seriously, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> I know. She's like mentioned it a couple times. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. But yeah, I know. It's definitely like been this like last couple of years that I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know how fine I am. I don't think I'm doing so well. You're like, actually, uh, actually, <laughs> I never want to wear shorts again. <laughs> I thought I would say that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like, but yeah, I, I, we're sorry. Do you go ahead? No, go ahead. I was going to say we're right about at our, our stop time. Oh yeah. 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 So you, I have a flight. I got yeah. I got to get out of these, uh, fancy clothes of mine. And so, uh, uh, Andrew, do you have any, like, just, I guess, closing remarks you could, yeah say to our listeners to, I guess, really motivate them and uh, give them some confidence in why they really should, why they deserve to work with someone like you or like the services that you provide. And it's, you know, especially for the women, we have a lot of female listeners and a lot of male listeners too, but you know, like how you, how you had mentioned earlier, how we're very, you know, female is, it can be very complicated and it's underrepresented in uh like uh, longevity, health, or optimization? Optimization, longevity, goal-based medicine, metabolic Mm -hmm. health, cellular, it's all the same. Um, But yeah, absolutely. So I think, um, let me take you through our process one more time and how we operate and and why we're different and how we're different, right? So uh, first step is to fill out our membership intake form and meet with your health concierge. So meet with someone like myself. We have several health concierges that manage our patient load. And they're all nerds in their own special way. Um, so typically we pair you up with the person we think would be best for you. And then after that, we order customized labs after you go through pretty much your entire medical history with that person. So we build a customized lab panel for you. Um, and then after that lab panel is built out, you uh, go get their labs done. You deliver us a physical. And then you meet with the doctor the same way you met with your concierge. So on a Zoom meeting, essentially. We actually use something called Ring Central, but it's all the same. And then after that, after every physician appointment, you always meet with your health concierge again to put the whole plan into action. And then you get labs as often as you need. You meet with your doctor as often as you need. You meet with your concierge as often as you need. And you can text us calls whenever you want. Uh, A couple of things that that are unique about us is that we are strictly cash pay. We don't work through insurance in any way, shape, or form. And that's uh, for a couple of reasons, one of which is insurance is a pain in the ass. The other reason is a lot of the stuff that we do is not considered medical necessity. So you go, you know, you're feeling fatigued. You're not feeling as great as you could be. You go to your primary care doctor and you ask for these labs, right? Or or this woman that went in and asked for, you know, hormone labs. One of the reasons she wouldn't order the labs is because, well, I don't have a diagnosis to issue you such that insurance will cover these labs, right? Right. I I don't think you have a hormonal abnormality, so I don't really know how to get these, these labs covered for you. Well, we go around that and we just do cash pay stuff. Um, so again, not medically necessary, necessary in a, a, a sick care model, but the people that come to us aren't typically sick, right? They're considered not sick, but are they healthy is, is another whole other consideration. But in working with us, what you get is a level of service that you really don't see anywhere else. 
and you get a, a personal performance team is, is what I like to call it of, of people who can really follow and track your data and we can track all of your wearables. So if you do have an aura ring or you do have your uh, Libre, right? You can connect that to our portal and we can look at that in conjunction with all your labs and really give you a, an overall uh, guidance and, and a plan going forward. So whether you are a an attorney who's trying to, you know, get through the day and think better or a professional athlete, right? That's just trying to say, Hey, how can I up my game here? What, what, what's, what is the best thing to do to uh, keep me safe, keep me recovering effectively and um, pr promote longevity in my sport? Or the other side of it is, you know, an overworked mom of, of three who is, how do I get through my day, right? Or a high-level CEO who, again, is, how do, I, how do I consistently work 70 hours a week and not burn out? So it, it really doesn't matter who you are, what you're doing, we can help you, right? Whether it's mindset, sleep, hormones, sex, um, fitness, nutrition, it, it's, it's the whole thing in, in one area um, and, and in one place. So if you want to run genetics, if you want to look at your micronutrient panels, regardless of what you want to look at, there's something there for you. And we have a couple of different programs. Our ultimate program and, and our complete program, if you will, is $250 a month for our complete offering. And that's, uh, again, $250 a month. It gives you access to your concierge, gives you access to the doctor in an unlimited format. And then beyond that, uh, you pay cash for anything else, so whether it's labs, prescriptions, whatever it is. Um, but in the $250 a month, you are paying for concierge access, which if you think about what we offer, it's really not that much money. A lot of people think 250 bucks. It's like, oh my God, that's, that's a, a, you know, people are getting two massages a month, right? <laughs> or, right. or that's, uh, you know, that's, that's a, um, I mean, that's a CrossFit membership in California, right? That's, or, you know, what, what else? Close is to it. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. But so. It's, it's really not that much money if you consider what you're getting. And the fact that a lot of the doctors that we work with, it, you know, and, and similar doctors to what we do, are going to be charging $1,000 an hour. That's, it's, it, you know, if you think about what you're getting here, $250 is really not that expensive. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what I've got. Any other questions? Oh, Brooke. So Brooke is, uh, what's your code? Oh, gosh. What is, um, so... Oh, I think, I think I think we did for my I think we did for my code. It's it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, so yeah. use the code. It makes sense if you want to sign up, and you'll get a free month with Live Health. So oh, your first month is free. I'm using um, it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you, you 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 get a free month there. So uh, two hundred and fifty dollars <clears throat> off your first month. We do bill quarterly or annually. So if you sign up, it would be quarterly seven hundred and fifty dollars for our complete program. We do have a lesser program. For what we've talked about today, if you're looking for everything we've discussed, it's really the complete program that you'd be looking for. But uh, use that code. You get $250 off. And then, uh, you know, great, 500 bucks for three months of, of service of Live Health and really get to try it out. It's awesome. Yeah, use that code, Gina. I know. <laughs> I know. I like you're welcome. <laughs> this intervention has gone fantastic. <laughs> I know. I know. I feel like there's going to be plans. people like knocking on my door to like drag me out or something. <laughs> all of a sudden it's just a bag goes over my head and I get sucked out. <laughs> oh my God. No, that was awesome. Andrew, very good information. And um, yeah, it's just convinced me more that, that I need to, cause Brooke's been telling me about this, you know, as she's been going through it and it, it, you know, when you hear that, you're like, Oh my God, that's like so much to do. I'm such a, I'm just a lazy person. I'm extremely late. Am I not lazy, Rook? I'm very lazy. You're, you're, you are lazy, but, uh, you know, just like me, you know, I currently have my supplements and stuff have to be out and about. They're just sitting on my dresser. Yeah. You just got to put all the things you, you're going to need to take, which I imagine yeah. you might need more, more than I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to, we'll set up, we'll make a plan. And like Andrew, like Andrew said, you know, you're, you're, you'll have some stuff in your, your AM packet and your PM packet. I'm just going to have a fanny pack for both. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually excited to um, look into it for sure. Definitely. Oh, Andrew, excited to get started. So I'll for... look into it. Get started. I, yeah. I'm definitely, you know, I will get started. You're going to get off this call and get signed up while you're taking it over to the airport. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Well, no, I'm, no I, I'm, I'm being serious. Like I, I definitely do really want to do it. Um, I like, I just think about like, Oh, then I got to go to the doctor's get my abs done. 
Oh, come on. I know. I know. I'm just being a giant pussy. People out there, our listeners, do not be like Gina. <laughs> Don't be like me. Be better than. <laughs> be say, be no, better. No. Yeah. Be better than me. Well, with all the time that you're not sleeping, you could be doing all of this stuff. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like a motivational speaker also? I try. Yeah. But, <laughs> <you're> doing- <laughs> You've had, he's had a good amount of people that are trying to go to the livehealth.org show up on livehealth.com. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I love it. No, <laughs> no, really good information. You? I know. Cause like Brooke's been trying to convince me forever, but you definitely convinced me. <laughs> Got like some, some, some lines light. really coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looked good. Okay. It looks, yeah, look, yeah, it looks hey, almost better. Bad. You look, um, like, you know, like angelic. Yeah, and jo- exactly. It Laura. looks like you're standing on a Broadway stage and there's yeah, a spotlight on you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're about to sing a song from like Les, Les Miserables. And then it just like <laughs> go into the shadow. <laughs> it's like it's like those filters. It's like people are like filtered, not filtered. <laughs> not filtered. <laughs> All right. I really do have to get out of my yep. pajamas. Andrew, thank, Andrew, you, thank so you so much for taking yeah. time with us. Yeah, thanks All for right, having me. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to awesome say dude. thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah. And, no, thanks um, for having me. This is fun. Yeah. Well, we'll have to, we'll have you on again. Um, oh, let's after, do it. After, after, Gina, yeah. after Gina gets some yeah, laughs yeah. done. Yeah. And then you can yeah. share. Yeah. And I'm totally fine. You can like actually share all the things that are wrong with me to everyone. Yeah. Well, we could even pull up your labs and do a full, uh, essentially lab review and, and talk about all the recommendations that the doctor had. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. yeah it's going to be, we'll, we'll take two hours for that one. Yeah. We'll see yeah. what your liver is really doing. <laughs> I know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew, for being with us. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for having us. All right, guys. So thanks so much for listening. Um, you yeah, know, if you want to you... take charge of your, your health and your hormones, get a hold of livehealth.com. L I V health.com. Um, I'm doing all the cool, all the cool kids are doing all it. the cool kids are doing it, but yeah, check it yeah, out. I'm definitely going to check it out. Yeah. You can use my code. Um, it doesn't like it, it doesn't really do much. It's not like it's, it's not like it's paying me. So it's more so gives you a discount and, uh, it offers a small discount for what I pay for all my service. So full transparency, um, (laughs) it makes sense is the code, check it out. And it's going really well for me so far. Um, extremely like, like Andrew, extremely, educated, nerdy, smart, not only the concierge like him himself, but the doctors that you work with as well. So it's, if once I finally spoke with my doctor, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Yurth is her name, which I'm hoping we'll have her on here as well. At some point, um, I felt significantly better, just mentally, emotionally about the, like, and very positive about, um, the outcomes I think that I'm going to have and start feeling better every day. <laughs> so, check it out, people. Check, check it out. out. All right, Thank guys. Thank you for watching or listening and hopefully uh, you are watching because if you see us, it's because my computer didn't completely fuck up and not get everything recorded like it's supposed to. Yeah, we're uh, trying to work on that too. Don't forget to rate, rate review, subscribe. subscribe. Five star rating. Five star warning. And we'll talk to you next week. We'll talk to you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Any of you are looking for a game, a great download for your phone that you can play when you're traveling, when you are like Gina and you wake up in the morning and you're still laying in bed, but you want to try and beat some levels. You have got to download 
best fiends. And how you spell that is F-I-E-N-D-S, but it is pronounced fiends. This is a very fun game to play and it's very difficult to put it down. In fact, I have not been playing it that long and I'm already on level 82. However, Gina is beating me and um, I think she might be embarrassed if I tell you what level she's on. But Best Fiends, it's a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play. And whether you have just like a few minutes to play or maybe a few hours because you're on a very long flight, Best Fiends is the perfect puzzle game. The game features tons of cute characters that help you solve thousands of puzzles. If you're like me, maybe not quite in the thousands yet, but if you're like Gina, definitely in the thousands. My favorite time to play Best Fiends is in the morning when I first wake up, if I'm still kind of tired and I'm not ready to get out of bed yet. And then especially when I am traveling, if I'm on a road trip, but I'm not the one driving or if I'm sitting in an airplane. Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. 